It's the radio guy, Mike Prince. Welcome to another special episode of the Mike Prince Show here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. We have gotten part two of the dynamic duo, and that in the likes of Miss Destiny Williams. How you doing today, young lady? Hi, I'm good. How have you been doing? Well, we've been doing fine. I uh, want to give you a congratulations on walking across that stage, getting your degree. We're very proud of you for that. Understand Thank that you're, you. go, you're going to be working on your internship in Atlanta. And we yes. want to congratulate you on a very, very productive career at Prairie View A&M University. And before we go any further, if you could give us... Mm-hmm a wrap-up of your experience at Prairie View throughout your tenure? That's pretty hard to do if you ask me, but Prairie View really changed my life for the better. I am so grateful for the opportunity that Coach Bland and Coach Ravel and Coach Bex gave me. And back in 2014, I had no clue where I was going to go to college at all up until about January of 2014. So... It's pretty exciting to say that I was able to spend all of my years at one university, and it just is another home. It's always going to be home. Well, that is always uh, good to hear and know that you will always have a home in the likes of Prairie View. Uh, in the four years that you've been, uh, as it's I was at, five. Well, yes, ma'am. That's right, five. I was Mm -hmm. uh, counting the four on the field. I forgot the injury year. But when we were counting and talking with Larissa, it was like I watched you you babies grow up to young women. And Mm -hmm. uh, you and I and your pop, we have a very special bond. Um, Mm -hmm. And it's just amazing how fast the time flies, man. It does. It does. It truly does. I didn't ever think that I would be a graduate of college so soon. Now that it's over, time really did come and go so fast. Absolutely. Now, here's one thing that I've been stressing, and I know is uh, a bit disappointing that you did not get drafted by the American Softball Association. Well, I I want you to allow this to marinate within your soul. What you and Larissa were able to accomplish, you too will be the first forever in the history of Prairie View A&M University to ever be submitted for a draft of the professional Mm -hmm. softball circuit. Do you understand Mm -hmm. the impact of that young lady? Yeah, it's an honor. It's setting a legacy for the girls to come. And that's what me and Yaya always talked about was setting a legacy for our teammates and the rest of the people that are to come. Yes, ma'am. And with that being said, uh, you came here, a young lady. Now you're leaving as a grown woman. I know your parents are extremely proud of you. You were able to experience some good times and some challenging times through the softball program at Prairie View. You became a champion just last year. You had one of the best seasons in the history of Panther softball this year didn't get the Mm -hmm. uh, end result that you were uh, were looking for but explain what is it like for you to know that you've been a a part of something that has set the standard and set the tone for the change of culture at Prairie View softball should be indescribable I don't even know how to explain it all I did was just lead by example that's how it all started my freshman year was just leading by example and it just rolled over to the next four years after that. So it's just an honor to always be able to name myself a Lady Panther and to be a part of the Peruvian and University softball program. And I'm excited for what's to come for the young ladies ahead. I know they'll do great. I know that what me and Yaya and the rest of the seniors have left behind is setting the tone for the girls that are to come. So I'm excited for to see how everything plans out since I'm just going to be one of the ones on the sideline now. So it's going to be a different perspective, but I'm excited. We're speaking right now with Destiny Williams, recent graduate of Prairie View A&M University. She will be heading now uh, to the hot Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia. Tell us about this internship that you have lined up right now. Well, I just got my degree in nutrition, human nutrition and food. So it is required 
to go to an internship if I want to be a certified nutritionist. So I am going to do this internship. It's about 1,200 hours of supervised hours of being in a hospital and around the community. So I'm excited to go into the next journey. It's a nine-month internship, so by this time next year, hopefully I should be a registered dietitian and have a job. <laughs> she said have mm-hmm. a job. Well, you're going to have mm-hmm. a career, baby girl. Cause yes, a career. <laughs> Absolutely. That's what it's all about. Now, uh, throughout your career, you were, were able to have major success defensively and offensively. Who would you say was some of your greatest inspirations as far as developing your game? Of course, my dad, because he taught me everything that I know leading up to me getting into college and while I was in college. And, of course, my brothers, my mom, even though, of course, she was just sitting on the sidelines, but she, of course, learned the game. But my brothers, definitely. I grew up watching them play, and they led the way for me. They taught me everything that they know, so... I just couldn't be anywhere without my family. So the man in your life, your father, which happens to be my fraternity brother, (laughs) Mm -hmm. set set the tempo and the tone uh, for Miss Destiny to be where she is right now. Now, Destiny, I know you say time went fast and and it seemed like you blink and you're walking across that stage. Mm -hmm. What is the one thing that you can say that Prairie View left on you for the rest of your life? It's hard to use one word, but I guess I would say it gave me a better understanding of myself as who I am as a person and growth. I guess growth would be a good word for that. Growth. Okay. Uh, Well, the growth, not only uh, physically, emotionally, psychologically, and as well as spiritually. And um, you have truly, truly blessed us on and off the diamond at Prairie View, uh, in the city of Prairie View. I was just telling your parents the other day that they have every right to be proud of how you carried yourself on and off the field. Total, total epitome of what a student athlete should be about. And I am thankful that you were able to cross my path to help enrich my life. Thank you. I'm so glad that I get to call you a friend forever as well. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. As they say, we are joined by the hip, mama. We are joined by the (laughs) hip. So, look, we we got some things that will be coming up. And from time to time, if you don't mind, just drop in with us and let us know how you're doing, how things are developing in your life. Now, do you plan on living in Atlanta? What are your plans? Um, I'm not too sure right now, of course, because... I don't know how things are going to go in Atlanta, but I like Texas. I love Texas and the the vibe that I get from Houston area or even Dallas, anywhere really. But I like Texas too. So, but I I'm not really trying to come back to Arizona, but this will always be home and just a place to visit and all that. So, we'll see. Dad might have something to say about that. He don't want his baby girl off too far off. I know, <laughs> I know. but I'll just be a fly away. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Well, well, Destiny, look, I want to thank you personally, and I'm going to take this time out. I don't normally uh, mix my business and spirituality involved, but I want to thank you for allowing me to share and break the bread of life with you while you were at Prairie View. And your presence and your teammates' presence truly helped enrich our service, and, and I pray that maybe every now and then there was something to see it to drop a nugget in your spirit to help you move a little bit forward. Yes, I thank you for sharing your knowledge and your spirit with me. With that being said, young lady, we're going to allow you to have some closing thoughts and comments as the floor is now yours. Um, I just want to thank everyone for the support, whether you attended the softball game or whether you watch live stats, or even just thought about the softball team at all. I appreciate everything that Preview has done for me, and I'm so excited for the future Panthers to come. And I'm just excited for the next journey. And I'm also excited to return back to TV as well soon. Okay, well, I got to give you this one, and I'm hoping you're ready for it. 
Prairie View producers. Productive people. Who you rooting for? PVU. All right. She is Miss Destiny Williams. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Thank you guys so much for joining us on this special edition of the Mike Prince Show. Remember the social media handles for Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter are at the Mike Prince Show. The YouTube channel is Open Mic Broadcast Network. And our 24-hour dial-in message line is 713-570-6736. And until the next time, you guys be blessed. We'll see you on the other side.